hit a straight. And he, had, he actually had a flush draw, made two pair, had them not flush draw, and then would have lost to a uh, straight. But wow, big moment. Big Al time bank highlight of my day is the time bank. Time bank chip on the double all in. That just shows the guy is playing to win. I think there's some. Let's see what these guys are saying here. He flopped top two. But he would have lost, I think. Yeah, he, he straight came. He, he flopped top two, turned up flush draw, and then would have got rivered. All right, so Vivek almost was a disaster for him. Now he's back to where he was, 18. Hello, everybody. This is Luke from Luke Poker. I'm happy to see you guys again. And I have um, paused my uh, video recording for quite a long time, and I decided to come back. And I'm happy to see more subscribers when I came back and a lot of more interesting discussions under my videos. So thank you very much and uh, please keep supporting me. I'm gonna do more videos. Um, this one I'm gonna talk about the uh, one hands that play be between uh, Vivek Rajkumar and Stevie Chitwick. So Vivek Rajkumar, this guy, um, he was born in India and grew up in Singapore and Seattle. There's a fun trivia about him. He's uh, 35 years old now and he graduated from University of Washington. Uh, in a computer engineering major. And then he became a software engineer for Microsoft in Seattle. He didn't work for them long, I guess, and he decided to become a professional poker player and he won 1.2 million uh, prize in his uh, live poker uh, competition when he was only 22 years old. Uh, regarding Stevie uh, Chitwick, I think many of you I've already seen this guy. He's amazing. He's one of the best poker player as for now. He's a, the number six in all time money list. Uh, Stevie came from Kent, England. He's 32 years old as for now. So let's watch this hand. Million in chips. That's what he started the day with. <laughs> it's so. a little bit of a ride. He could have had five million. It's gonna open up the dealer button. Look at Vivek's face. His face on that all in was priceless. He knows like how insane it was. In Big Al, they hear it. Big Al full in ace as well. So Chidwick, he defends the big line. He is started today second place. Currently, I believe in last place. Just gonna check his top pair after defending to Jack Five. So very small continuation from, it from Raj Kumar, pretty much trying to just take it down. Denying his opponent equity. Now if you're Chidwick, you got top pair. 20 big blinds. You might check raise sometimes. Can definitely represent some bluffs. I think the standard is to call. He is going to call. So on the flop, we can see Raj Kumar got ace 8 and uh, Chidwick got Jack five suited. Flop came with Jack nine and four rainbow. So Rajkumar hit nothing. Chitwick hit Jack pair, which is a top pair as for now. And uh, Chitwick check again. Rajkumar bet very small. It's like um, only a quarter of the pool. And uh, Chitwick call here. So he could have maybe uh, bet more than just flat calling, but uh, the calling decision it's also the best decision here is uh, he's hiding his uh, strength basically here. So let's keep watching. So the queen on the turn is going to give Vivek a little equity. He could hit a 10 to make a straight, but not a good straight. going to reach for more chips and I like this actually if you think about it the queen actually doesn't hit Chidwick that much because sometimes Stevie Chidwick is going to three bet jam like king queens uh, queen 10 occasionally uh, ace queen no. so what queens does he have 
You're not going to check call like Queen 8 on a, I mean Queen 7 on the flop. That's a pretty cool bet, actually, from Vivek. Very good hand reading. Yeah, they're going to put a lot of pressure on a 9 as well. But it seems like Chidwick's going nowhere. Still going to make the call. Just dialed in. He's just he's ready. He's in there. But you're still going to get... So on the flop, you can see this queen came out. And Raj Kumar bet um, half the pot. So here, the half the pot uh, betting, I think, is also really good. It's hard to tell what he has here. I mean, uh, from Chidwick's point of view, Raj Kumar mostly won't have jack. But does he have... Queen, probably. Does he have uh, two pair? Probably. So this half pot bet is um, pretty pretty good for Raj Kumar to hide his strength if he has or as a bluff to Chitwick. So Chitwick thought a little bit here and he just uh, flat call again, which is great for sure because he got still got a very good pair in his hand and he's gonna watch what's happened next. Called by hands like 10 9, Jack 10, a lot, a lot of 10s in there. So I don't think Vivek was completely surprised he got called. And I think if he does bet this flop and this turn card, he should consider bluffing the river. How much you got left? <laughs> How much you got left? <laughs> That's the I'm thinking about putting you all in play. Vivek just acquired back his stack. He is in there maneuvering with them. Putting some heat on 3.5 million in the pot. Less than less than a stack to pot ratio of one for Chidwick. Critical pot. Well, every time Stevie. Vivek has put in one of those time <laughs> chips, he's he shoved it all in. So would be quite a decision for I would love to see him shove it all in. It just seems to make sense that there's a lot of one pair straight draw type hands that would call this flop and turn. All in. All he does in. Go for it. Amazing. Put this test to Stevie. And again, Stevie is not a player that is afraid. He is very capable. He knows what's going on. He knows what's the possibilities here. He realizes Vivek is chip leader. He's capable. But man, talk about a, a tough spot. I wouldn't want to be there with the Jack 5 kicker. Uh, even with, I mean, there's just a lot. In, as, oh. He just threw all the time bank chips in. He just, Leroy Jenkins time bank chips. He just knows it's gonna be, this could be a while. Wow. wow. So so Stevie, wow. The, the clear obvious bluff is the spade draw. You know, like the ace 10. I mean, there we go, she has ace eight. This is very tricky because Vivek actually has a lot of value here. Queen tens, king queens. Queen, Queen X, of course. Uh, of course, two plus, two pair plus. Straights, 10 eight, King ten. I'll tell you. I'll there's tell a lot. You, there's, there's a plus. A lot, there's a lot happening, man. Shidwick is in the matrix right now, working it out, thinking about it. Maybe you, know, you talk about poker live. Poker, one of the game's greatest players. He does oh call. I mean, God. welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the big stage. Stephen Chidwick, just, just absolutely savage play there i mean this guy is a true true wizard you saw build go wow that's my reaction that is an amazing call just it was a, it, i think it was a good read on the bluff river this is the, the best play in this hand for sure we got the six of heart it didn't hit anyone so raj kumar decided to owe in here and uh, chitwick look at what he did here he didn't throw his chips into the table. He threw his time chips into the table. And if you rewind a little bit, you can see right after that movement, his eyes were watching. And he was doing the analysis after that. Raj Kumar, he showed a little bit nervous after he saw that chip Owen, not the money chip, the time chips. And uh, I think Chitwick caught that reaction as a lead. And he, um, he read that information correctly. And he just understood that Raj Kumar is bluffing. He got nothing in his hand and he caught. Otherwise, mathematical, mathematically, I don't think it does make any sense to call this hand with Owen. Basically, this is the end of his tournament or whatever the, the the competition he's playing, right? And he only get a pair of jack 
anything can beat him the pair of queen even the any two pairs or even a set so that's why i think stevie chitwick is one of the best uh, reader player in this game he reads his components mind through very accurately almost every time we will show more information we will show you more videos like this in the future um yeah that's about this hand what do you think about this i mean what do you think why stevie can make this so accurate and uh, brief decision based on so little information that you know his opponent opponent showed and i think raj kumar played pretty well in his hand but and luckily he didn't hit his hand and uh, i mean that's that's pretty much about it all right thank you for watching this look